Okay, now that we have our apple drawn, what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. And so we're going to look at a few other tools now. So well, I'm going to go over here to the paint bucket. And right now I've got black as my stroke color. And I've got black as my fill color. I'm going to change the fill color to red. Okay, and then with my paint bucket, as you can see, I can paint this, I can paint this, and I can paint this. All right, and then I can change the color of the stroke by, instead of using the paint bucket, using the ink bottle tool, and then changing the stroke color, which is the line color. So I'll change it to blue, let's say. Okay, and now that's blue. It's hard to see, maybe small. I can change, go over to the um, property window here, and I can change the size of that stroke, right? And now it's a big line, right? 39 point line width, or how about a 4.8 line width, right? So that'd be a, a thicker line. But that's not what I want, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Control Z on my keyboard to do uh, multiple undos. All right, so I've got that. And now I'm saying, okay, I want to paint this a little more advanced because as you can see in this other file, we've got a much different look. So what I'm going to do is I'll hold down my uh, left click here on this uh, color chip and I'll pick one of these gradients. And this is a radial gradient from red to black. And get my paint bucket tool. Okay, paint bucket for fill, ink bottle for strokes and lines. So now I can paint and click and it paints a radial gradient. So that's an improvement. So I could paint it like that, I could paint this one like this, paint that one like that, whatever. Right? But I can still improve upon this. If I want to improve this or change the radial gradient, what I'll do is I'll go over here to my palette and which opens up basically the color mixer and then I can change these colors. So, for instance, you can see that um, on my other file, if I click here, I'm going to go into this and click on this, um, click on my gradient here, you'll see in my color mixer, I've got a very different look here to my um, gradient. And so I'll show you how I did that. So, now, over here, what I'll do is I'll say, you know what, I want this color to be a little lighter on the gradient. So I'll click on this color chip and and then I can double click on it and maybe I'll make it like an orange, right? Or I could just drag this up here and change the color of that. And so now it's a little bit of an orange. Then on this color chip, I'll click on that, double click on it, make that let's say like a solid red. Now, if I wanted to add now if I now let's let's apply it. So what I'll do is click on the paint bucket and I'll click and you can see that now I've got an orange to red radial gradient. So once again, what I'll do is change this again. Okay, and I'm going to add another chip. Notice the plus sign on my cursor. I'll add a chip here and then I'll just drag this down and make it a dark brown. And now if I click, you'll see that I'm starting to get a three color radial gradient. And so I'm going to change that a few times. And at the end, what I ended up with was with, with, with something like this. So light orange to red to a brown, back to a red. And what that gave me was is a nice core shadow. So let's see if we can do that again. So orange, let's say, to a red to a, let's say, dark brown, oops, um, do something like that, there you go, that's a brown, to a reddish color, I'll just double click on that chip and go to red. Also, if you wanted to, what you could do is click on this chip, double click on this chip, and then take the eyedropper tool to whatever color you want to use, right? So that's what I have, and I can slide these. I'll slide this one over a little bit. And now if I click, you'll see that I have a different flow of my gradient. Now, it still doesn't look like this one because on this one I modified the gradient a bit. So I'll show you what I did. I, you can change this radial gradient by using 
your gradient transform tool which I'm going to use here and then I'll click on the gradient and I can compress the gradient just like that then on with this one I can make it bigger or smaller and then with this one I can rotate the gradient so by doing that I create a different look for this I'll click it one more time I'll bring this up maybe I will bring this in right and this is going to take some playing with to really you know get it the way you want it on this image I really ended up with something quite nice and with this one so far I'm not enjoying it so much so I will once again attack this and with this one I'll take that to a red then I'll take this slider down make it a little bit darker and since the um, since the fill here has been selected it'll automatically apply the changes and with this color I might make it a little bit lighter um, and might slide this over a little bit and this one over a little bit and then see deselect on by clicking on the background to see how those changes are looking okay and that looks a little bit better then in the next um, part I'm gonna add the highlight and I did that separately 